Tonight marks the first day of Hanukkah, and to observe it, a memorable and meaningful holiday event is returning to downtown Detroit. And this morning, we are getting you ready for Menorah in the D. The event this year is back both online and in person. Here now with a preview and a classic latka recipe you can try for yourself right at home is Edie Shemtoff. She's the education director at the Shul in West Bloomfield Township. Good morning, Edie. Can you hear me okay? Good morning. Hey, Thank there, there we you. go. Thanks for being with us. So kicking it right off here, Edie, what are you making for us this morning? And what is the significance of having latkes during Hanukkah time? So I would love to be in person with you and give you a taste of these fantastic um, potato latkes. They look great. <laughs> these are a mixture of potatoes, onions, and eggs, salt and pepper, and we fry them in oil. You can see the different stages of the frying going on right here. Um, so what I did was I grated it with a hand grater. You can always use a food processor, but the hand grater gives it that real good homemade authentic feeling taste and do you have to soften the potatoes before you grate them Edie, or can you grate them raw I, just peel them. I took them completely raw and i peeled it and grated it easy enough just like that yep and then once you grate it and mix it with a couple of eggs and a little salt and pepper um and the the recipe the precise recipe is on the screen i believe then you just take a little bit of it and drop it into already heated oil and you watch that sizzle and you know that it is the perfect temperature and um it's just a fantastic treat when it's ready i'm hearing that sizzle and it's around breakfast time so i'm already starting to get hungry and i know you're using oh, potatoes this morning <laughs> um but Edie, is there another way to make lot because if you don't have potatoes or for some reason you can't eat potatoes yeah, you can make latkes pretty much out of anything, uh, zucchini, broccoli. I mean, there's even recipes for cheese latkes with, you know, cottage cheese and a little bit of a thickener, like a flour or a gluten-free flour. And so what, are some, what are some other foods traditionally eaten on Hanukkah, aside from latkes, which I've had and are just simply delicious? Another favorite are soup ganiot or donuts. Um, and these can be either round with a hole in the middle or they are filled with jelly which is the israeli style and these are my nifty little dreidels which is one of the games we play during hanukkah as well and i was just going to ask you about that the different games obviously cooking and community is such an important part of marking this holiday but talk to us about some of the other ways it's marked including with games for kids well, the games for kids, this is the dreidel. These are a special, a glow-in-the-dark dreidel, which we will be distributing tonight at Menorah in the D. Oh, cool. And this reminds us of the miracle of Hanukkah when actually um, we're commemorating a time when our people were not allowed to practice their religion. And this was actually a fantastic idea that the, the, the schools came up with is that when they were studying the religious studies in school and that was not permitted and the guards would come they would quickly put away their books and take out their dreidels and it was just like you know a social time rather than religious because we weren't ready to give up our religious identity and then came the miracle of Hanukkah where the Maccabees won the war it was a military victory it was a military miracle and we lit the menorah which is the main um, mitzvah or celebration tradition of Hanukkah. Tonight we will light one candle. The center one is the helper. And um, it's, it's just a very, very exciting time to come downtown. This is a replica of our downtown menorah, which um, people will see live. And we just light it together with, you know, a very intimate group of, uh, uh, I don't know, we'll have a few thousand people in person and maybe 20,000 online, and we're super excited. Edie Shemtoff, Education Director at the Shul in West Bloomfield Township. So excited for the event tonight, and thank you so much for being here. Those latkes look delicious. Thank you so much. Have a great Hanukkah. You too. We'll be right back.